Hey guys, Pete, Crunch Time Coaching. We're gonna be going over how to add some legs into our serve. That's where you're gonna get a lot of your power. So hopefully you're gonna enjoy this. So we wanna make sure we can use our legs. Most important thing we wanna do, I, I, I give lots of lessons, and especially if I'm teaching some guys, they wanted to start pounding that serve. They just start trying to crush and use a lot of arms and that's a good way to get hurt and have a bad serving day, okay? So, what we first of all gotta do is warm up. Before I do anything, I wanna warm up. So we're just gonna get our shoulders going. I have not hit any serves yet. So I'm like ice cold. This came from lunch. So we're gonna do some shoulders back and forth. I'm not gonna do too long a warm up because I know you guys want me to get into the lesson. So I'll do an abbreviated warm up, but I do wanna make sure that I'm not gonna hurt myself, okay? I like to also, I know the serve is staying still, but I also like to get a little bit of cardio in. So I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do some jumping jacks just to get my legs warmed up because I wanna be using my legs. So just get a little bit of jumping jacks going. Plus this is nice to kind of get ready for that serve, right? So some jumping jacks going, getting some twists going. And also gonna get the legs activated with a little bit of squats, okay? Because I want those legs to feel like I'm going up, going up, getting there. Just getting that going. All right, now another thing I think is really good to get the serve warmed up, is especially if you have a buddy, I don't have any buddy today, but I'm just gonna do some light throwing. I'm gonna be doing more like a long bomb, although I'm not trying to throw the ball very long. I'm gonna throw the ball more high, up, in a relaxed fashion, getting the arms loosened up before I just start using the racket, okay? Up, making sure I feel good when I put that racket in the hand. Up, a couple more, up, Last couple, up. Now I'm gonna start getting the legs involved. Watch what I do in the last couple. When not enough people think about loading weight on their glute, okay? So what I want you to do is like a pitcher, get the leg, see, do a little bit of pitching action, get here, get all the weight here, do a little pitch, and up. All right, I'm getting more explosion on that. So I'm gonna come down here and up. So that's getting the core involved. It's getting weight on the back glute. I really suggest you do this warm up, getting here, up. All right, now, I've got the racket in my hand. Now my racket warm up, not enough people do this, is I like both legs on the ground. Too many people start jumping right away and all that kind of stuff. I challenge to see how good you do at this. So many people struggle with this. This is my standard warm up. So now we're going to go through my standard warm up to where I'm here and I like both feet on the ground. And again, feeling that up flow. And I'm not trying to hit that serve too hard. I'm trying to go nice and smooth, trying to feel the weight come back here. Get these legs established. Boom. Okay. As I warm up, I'm starting to bring this other leg around. All right. So now we're like a pitcher and a delivery coming there. All right. So now I'm going to come here and then come around. Once I feel that going, I can start to add a little more power. Okay, now it's starting to flow. And now I've got a good feel. I've got good balance. None of the people start out with good balance. I've got good balance. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing a lazy jump. I call this the lazy jump. So I'm just kind of lazily, I'm not looking to hit the ball hard, but it's kind of lazily jumping into the court. Okay, and you'll see a lot of pros do this. This is starting to add those legs. I put too much pressure, and that serves going in a lot harder already, just by me kind of doing this lazy 
jump. All right. And the more I do it, now I can feel power comes, it's the kinetic chain. Power comes from the ground up. So now I'm doing this, I'm gonna feel a little bit more of my legs sink into the ground. So now I'm gonna try and get a little more of my legs sinking into the ground and jumping out of there a little more. So now I'm getting more into my match serve. So getting the legs down and exploding up. A couple more. Okay. Now my body's pretty warmed up. My body's ready to go. So now I'm going to do my first leg exercise. I love this one. All right, so I'm just going to do this for a little bit where I'm going to take the ball, I'm going to put it behind me on the ground there, and I'm going to reach back and throw. So what I don't want to do is this. I don't want to come down and then come up and then throw. I'm going to come down and right away explode out of there. Put a lot of weight back here. So watch this. It's on the ground. I'm going to come down and up. Okay? And I'm throwing the ball high. I'm not throwing the ball forward. Right? Down, up. Try and get as high off the ground as you can with still being balanced. Do a couple more. A couple more. This is how you can instantly start feeling your legs involved in your serve. If you've never had legs in the serve, come down, up. Okay. I would do that till you feel really good about it. Okay? I would do that till you feel really good about it. Then what I'm going to do, this is one of my favorite things. I'm breaking out the board okay I'm breaking out the board and what I like about this board is it helps you with balance so you got to be balanced on this board and it's gonna help you go up you're gonna feel like you're taller than you've ever felt before so you're gonna feel that really height that height extension and you're gonna feel that you are you have to jump up and out into the court okay because if you just go straight up you're gonna land on the board or you might sprain your ankle or whatever. So you gotta get out into the court. So this will really help you develop a serve that goes up and out into the court. That's why I like this so much. I've seen a lot of pros use this very thing, okay, where they get on a platform, really good juniors. So here we go. If I put this down here, hopefully you guys can see that. I'll do it over here, I'll put it on the deuce side. Now the first thing I recommend is not jumping right away. Get used to the board. The board's gonna feel weird. Get used to the board and feeling, going down here a little bit and up and feeling that contact. Get comfortable on the board because it is a totally different feeling. Get comfortable on the board. One more. Then after you feel like you've gotten comfortable on the board, then I want you to do a couple of shadow stroke jumps, okay? So you can really feel your balance. So again, we're warming up. This is gonna be, some people freak out on the board. So we're gonna make sure we can feel our rhythm. Getting set, up, and through, okay? Let's try it again. Really get my legs down, sink my legs down, legs down, up, and through. One more time. Get set. Up, and through. Now, I'm feeling confident on the board. I've got my confidence going on the board, so now I'm going to serve. Here we go. I'm gonna get set. See, get my confidence, get my balance. It's set here, getting down, up, oh my gosh, that was a monster serve. I got I to gotta show you guys this, watch this. That ball went in, and look how high 
it bounced. See the ball sticking in the fence there? That was a great serve, and, and it felt awesome. I felt huge. I felt like I felt like darn John Isner right there. Okay, so this is a great drill to start. Start feeling bigger. Great drill to start feeling bigger. Let me do that again. Getting set here. Getting down, really going up. Getting that sweet spot way up on the racket. Good set. Boom. Okay, that one was not a good one. So it takes a while to get your timing. I literally launched that. It's a launching pad. Here we go. Pretty good. One more. I'm gonna do one more. Really feel my legs in there. Getting set. Out to the court. Oh, and I smashed that one too. Okay. So. There you go, guys. That's how you can start to incorporate your legs into your serve, ensuring that you're not only going up, you're going out into the court. So everybody have a great day. If you're out there and you're not following me on Periscope, make sure you follow me on Periscope so you can join in the fun tennis talks like we had today. All right, everybody have a great day out there.